So today we're out in one of the Harper Adams uh, grass fields. Actually, we're on the back side of the Harper Adams dairy unit, just making the most of some, a field to go autonomous with the combine for the very first time. So this is just doing root control, nothing else at the moment. You can see that John has got no hands on the steering wheel. And at the moment it's just driving in a straight line, which is obviously very much like what your commercial auto steer system might do. But in a second it will get to the end of our uh, plotted point, which is just a, uh, a random plotted location and it will do a turn and it will turn back down to the other end of the field. So this is fully autonomous. John is just on board for safety reasons. And uh, yeah, if I just get a bit of a skip on, you can see the combine is now turned back on itself without John touching the steering wheel and uh, he's now driving back off down the field. So, uh, the next step from here then, so this is all using the, uh, the GPS, uh, GPS uh, location mixed with our drone autopilot. Um, the next step from here is to uh, automate the, uh, the header to lift up and down as it goes in and out of what would be the cropped area. The combine itself has got actuators so we can remotely start the threshing and stop the threshing and start the header etc and also unload. Um, some of you may have seen the video that went on YouTube yesterday where we had a drone uh, chasing essentially our tractor at a set offset um, and that is going to be how we unload hopefully on the move. We're going to have the combine driving at a set offset from the combine so we can unload out in the field without us having to go and do it. So that's one of the uh, the more intriguing developments we need to make over the next week. Uh, but as you can see, the combine itself is uh, is driving. Yeah, here we go, John. There you go. John's doing his proof here. So uh, when it comes to the end here, it will come to the end of the little mission that we've set it. So John will set set it off again, so it trundles around again. Uh, as you can see, it's driving in a reasonably straight manner. The uh, rear axle is doing a bit of turning, but it's fairly straight. I think we're quite happy with how straight it is. This is literally day one out in the field with it, so we can do some tuning. So John's going to set it on it away again, so he's just clicked the button, and off it goes on another trip up the field. Okay, so now it's turned onto his line and it will drive straight up. Yeah, I'm trying to work out where the line is, somewhere here. So, yes, uh, we have about, uh, I'm going to say around 10 days till I think we'll be harvesting. We need to uh, set a date fairly soon but we're going to be about 10 days obviously weather permitting and this harvest as anyone who is involved in agriculture knows it's been an absolute nightmare for start stop weather and we're going to obviously be uh, hindered by that ourselves um, but yeah I think we're looking the, the first week of September for the combine to be out in the hectare doing the final phase of our, our year our season of cropped autonomous cropping well, we take this combine out there and harvest our barley. And as I said before, hopefully we'll be also unloading into the tractor, driving alongside. Great, I hope you're all enjoying this. Uh, I'll just follow up to the last, to this top to watch you do a turn again, and I'll sign off. How are you feeling, Martin? Very happy. Very happy. Smiley, Martin. <laughs> and we've got a bit of a wiggle on then I think but not too bad obviously there's a few tie marks here we've been we've we've tried a few different tracks this morning but take my word for it the ones it's driving on at the moment are the same ones it drove down uh, about five minutes ago so 
it's fairly repeatable. And obviously at the moment we've just got it doing two sides of an oval. Once it gets out in the field, obviously we have, uh, how many passes do we have Martin of the whole field roughly? Uh, 60. 60 times up and down, 60 passes of the field to get harvested. So uh, obviously that needs a lot larger waypoint plan. So here he comes in, around the same arc. Hopefully it will just start to turn now. There you go. See John's just sat on board purely for the ride. We're making lots of marks in the same point in the field, which is great. It shows we've got some repeatability going on. There it is, the Hansfree Hectare Combine. Uh, so, hopefully, 10 days time, you'll get lots more coverage like this as we're actually in the field harvesting the crop, which is all a bit daunting. Um, and at that point, we will have been a world first. We will have uh, sprayed, we will have drilled, we will have rolled and then harvested all the, all the mechanical steps of growing a crop will have been done automatically and all of the uh, agronomy will have been done via remote sensing on drones. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Uh, like, share, subscribe, hands-free hectare. Great.